Welcome to the channel. It's Mike with CRM Pros. I'm going to show you how to make your voice AI demo stand out amongst the crowd. So we already have our voice AI agent set up and we're going to go ahead and make a few calls until we get one that's really nice, sounds perfect. sub account we're going to go to conversations and here's a bunch in a test account that I have this is a voice test account I'm gonna go ahead and download this one as a sample and I'll put it on pause and I'll show you you hit download and it goes into your downloads folder which it's there so that's done now we have the audio that we need and the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to go into our visuals. We're going to need a, a logo for this. This demo that we have is for Safety Clean, the guys that handle all the oil recovery. So if you go to Jiffy Lube and they're going to pay somebody to take care of that, they're going to hire a company like Safety Clean to go ahead and pick up their used oil. So that's who this demo is for. So we're going to look up, we're going to need their logo. So we're going to say Safety Clean, it's with a K, and then logo. Okay, so then we're going to images and look, here's all the safety clean logos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for one. I'm going to say, okay, here's one. I'm going to right click on it, save image as, and then I'll save it to my desktop. I have one there already. So I'm just going to hit save. Good to go. So now my, my image is on my desktop. The next thing we have to do is if you notice on this image, this thing has white all the way around it. We want to get rid of that. I want that to be transparent when we bring it into our demo. I use remove.bg. It's very, very good. It's very precise. I could do this in Photoshop. However, I find that this is a lot easier and a lot more reliable. So I'm going to up upload the image. There's my logo. And I'm going to bring it in and it does its thing. And there you go. As you can see, the whole entire image, the white was removed from the background of the image. So all I have now is my black and red lettering without any background. Next, we're going to do is move to the next step. I want to teach you in Photoshop how to set this up. Now we're in Photoshop and basically this is the visual piece. This is the part you're going to see. So we want to make this custom with the company logo. Remember I downloaded that safety clean logo. We removed the background earlier. It's in my downloads folder. A couple of things about this template. If you notice on the right side, there's a lot of layers here in Photoshop. And the reason is because I use this same template and I've done probably 50 or 60 of these demos already. So I have each layer I can turn on and off here and I could just expose the logo and the color scheme that I need. I'm going to share this in blue so you guys can have it. I'm going to make it just one layer and then you're going to add a logo. You could do that in Canva, which would make it really easy for you. So now, if you remember earlier, like I said, we downloaded the logo from the website. We removed the background. It's in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it and I'm going to drag it right on top of this Photoshop file. Now, if you notice, it has two guys on the on the screen because the agent's voice was a male voice and then the the caller is me. So I basically have a guy speaking to a guy. If you're going to use a female agent, have a female caller, you would put a female and use a lady's name. So now I can go ahead and shrink this down and position it right here like this. I like to usually maximize it. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up, up like that and size it. Maybe bring it down just a tad. And then you see that line in the center? The purple line indicates that I am centered both horizontally and vertically. So I'm good there. So there's my image. It's really all I have to do there. So now what I do is I go to layer and I'm going to flatten it. And then basically it's going to get rid of all these layers over here. So all I have is one layer now. And then I'm going to go ahead and export that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it and I'm going to say safety clean demo. 
Okay. So then I want to make sure that I save it like as a JPEG and then I'm going to put it to the desktop and save. That's it. Now we have that done. So then we're going to go into the next phase where we put the voice and the visual together and give it a little bit more of a enhancement and then we will be finished. Now we're in Descript. Descript is a video editor. I like to use it when I do video work. I'm going to go ahead and click new project and what we'll do here is we're going to go to video project because this basically this demo is simulating a video project. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to bring in my audio clip from the call. I just drag it right on the top of it. It's going to ask me now speaker names in English. Yes, I want to go English. I just hit OK. So basically what's going to happen now is it's going to transcribe. It's already 50% there, so it's going to be fairly fast. Not an issue. It's going to transcribe that. What you're going to see is a visual transcript of the call itself that we did in high level. But here we can enhance the video, enhance the audio a little bit, make it sound a little bit nicer. This is a short call, so really much, not much to it. So at this point, I go over to the AI tools, which you click here, they pop up. The first thing I'll do is I'll hit remove filler words. So anything odd, it will detect it. You can see here it says which can be used to make new lubricants. So I have two B's in here. And then the other one is, an, so it'll remove all those ums for you. So I hit remove all and then it just takes it out and repurposes the audio. You'll never know it's there. The next thing I'll do is remove word gaps. If there is any word gaps on this one, there might not be because it's such a short call. But let's just say the agent, yeah, there's no word gaps here. But let's just say the agent took a while to answer or you took a while to respond to the agent. And instead of having a five second lapse in your demo, this will shorten it down to one second. So I have this set right now, anything longer than three seconds and basically shorten it to one second. We didn't have to use it here, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we can go ahead and apply studio sound. Studio sound makes the sound sound really nice and it gives it a little bit of tone, like a bass tone. And that'll take it about a second here to do that. Once that's done, which it is now, the next thing we're going to do is drag our image. Remember, we did that image in Photoshop. We're going to bring that in and we're going to drag it right here on top of the black. That's where our video frame would be. Now, if you notice, there's a black bar on both ends here. We want to get rid of that because this thing is 16 by 9. This is a square. So what we do is go up top here, hit square. Then we drag this out. And you can see it turns purple and we drag this out. And now we're sized properly. I have a safety clean logo. Everything's good. I've got my audio. I can go ahead and play this audio if I'd want and listen to it. Not a problem. The next thing we're going to do is what everyone loves. We're going to add the sound bars on the bottom. Okay. So you're going to hit elements. And then if you notice, we have waveforms here. Lines, circles, rings, or just straight up waves. I like to use the lines. So I take that and then what I do is I drag this out, drag this out a little bit just and then I change this the thickness to nine points is generally what I go for. So I hit nine and then I know generally that this has to be around this position. Okay and then thank I you for calling safety clean. It, How can I you assist can you see. today? Huh, I just wanted to see if you guys handle you. Safety Clean specializes in oil recovery service. There you go. Okay. So then that's it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit export. I don't want to do a web link. I want to do a local export. So I'm going to go to local export. And then I'm going to go ahead and save it as Safety Clean. I'll go to my desktop and I'm going to save it there. Now, one thing about Descript, it does look a little funny. It's saving right now and you can see it already did it. But you, if you keep clicking this export because it doesn't disappear, you're gonna save it again and again. And then this is it, we are finished. At this point, you can go to your desktop, you can view your file, and you have your demo is completed. I hope you guys really enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, just leave a message in the channel or leave a message on the high level group. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And if I can ever help you in any way, please let me know.